What's up? This is Exuberist, and here we are again going to react to episode 5 of Old Summer Ranking. So in the previous episode, we see Boji going on the journey to Queen Hilling's relatives, parents, and there was some really weird stuff going on in during the episode. Like, we have this chicken man, or, or a ma an old dude dressed in a chicken suit, who killed... Not really, he didn't kill a boar, but the boar fell onto his trap and he ate it along with Bochi. And he became deranged a little later and was eyeing to eat Bochi. And then they, we come to the gates of hell with Domas uh, showing Bochi what's under the hole, or what's in the hole, rather, and pushed him into the hole. Like, and, and he smile he was laughing for some reason i have no idea what this guy's motive is huh. anyway we also have the the mirror on the wall scheming to take over the kingdom using daida as as its marionette and who else hokuro hokuro seems like a nice guy hopefully he doesn't die and we haven't seen kage at all because bevin brought him somewhere i mean told him to go somewhere Bebin's dead, and Daida is like 90th place in the ranking of kings because he lost to this golem, the stone golem, right? So yeah, very weird series of events, but yeah, I don't think I don't think it's there's anything to be surprised about in in this anime. Not really very emotional in, in that past episode, and I, I, I'm okay with that because I, at the very least I want to see the progression of the narrative. We can't always be crying and bawling our eyes out, right? We need to know a little bit more of what is the goal. I'm guessing this is the start of Boji's hero's journey because that dream that Daida had kind of symbolized or foreshadowed that Boji will be the hope of his kingdom perhaps? of the world, I don't know, the little guy who just, who keeps getting beaten down but stands up every time he falls, the guy that we are going to put our all our support on and, and all of our hopes on because we know that he will be able to pull through. Maybe. Anyway, so let's get into episode 5 and see what goes on. I see, I told you, there is an area in, in that deep ravine where the fire doesn't touch anything interesting okay was this premeditated though in that case who planned it and how? How did it happen? Or was it just coincidence that the, the, what do you call that? Oh, it's Kage! Yay! He's back! Oh, wait a minute, so where was he? Like, dude, where were you? Aw, Bochi thought he left him for good. Well, you're crying too, yo. Didn't you miss him too? Okay, so he was the one responsible for the crossbow there. Oh, I'm so glad that they're back together again, going on this adventure. Maybe that was Bebin's plan in the beginning. So maybe Bebin is actually not a bad guy. Maybe we just think he is because that's what the show wants us to, sh to think, you know? And Domas is actually more antagonistic 
in that sense. Not necessarily the main antagonist, because obviously that's the mirror on the wall. It's always the mirror on the wall. I won't be surprised if in, um, was it Snow White? But the mirror on the wall is actually the evil one. Okay, where are we going next? And what is this hell hell, hell hole? Episode 5, me in intertwining plots. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay, the hooded guy. So it was Domas. It was Domas who poisoned the meat. Oh, okay. So it, we. Okay. He is not bad. Okay. It was him. So he didn't go far away. He went much closer. But okay. Oh my gosh, the secret. A training montage. So the guy that looked like the devil. Weird. Yeah. Mm. No, no, that's not it. That is not it. No, he is not. I I disagree wholeheartedly, 100%. Wow. He's defending his own little brother. Oh, big brother, rather. Even though it was actually more advantages to him. This is weird. This is so interesting. Oh my gosh, he's getting his comeuppance. He's gonna die! Okay, no, maybe not. Oh, that's why. He 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 ordered him to assassinate Bochi. Okay, so he isn't all that bad. Repent, bro. Repent. Oh. It's a little crown. Oh, okay. It's not his crown. Aww. Yes, it is. But it easily gets blown away, so... <laughs> Alright, okay. Somebody ate those bones. I mean, those humans. Poison. Oh no, Ga poisonous gas. I see. Cover your mouth and nose. Everything. Cover your whole face. I'm guessing they don't have gas masks back, back then. I don't know if it's poisonous gas or if it's just nitrogen. Nitrous oxide? Maybe? Oh, it's Mordekaiser. Oh no. What exactly are you actually? A sworn owl? I don't I don't buy that. No, 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 no. That's not that's not it. You're a traitor. You're Judas. The Judas reincarnate. Oh, 
Okay. What is the history of this king boss? Like, seriously. How did he become so big? Was he, like, in the line of giants? I mean, in that case, Bochi would be in the line of giants too, right? Oh, dragons. And is that a chicken? Gargoyle? Mermaid? Preserved in ice. Same question. Uh, it's like It looks like a museum. This looks like Narnia. That's so morbid. And showing it to his son, too, like... It's good shaved ice, though. Probably. Oh no, it's sludge. Ew. Ew. That's his actual meat sack, I guess. His flesh. Okay. A PS is going to... Top the the scheme, maybe. A sphinx. And who's that in the green robe? He was bald back then. Oh, okay. I thought it was. I'm guessing this, this is the, the Underworld Knights. Okay. Let's go ball. Okay. It's, a, it's an egg. What is that? A phoenix. Maybe? They're gonna kill it? Oh crap. Ugh. 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 This is some occult stuff. Ooh. This is some black voodoo magic. Some weird juju. I don't think so. I think he's gonna go mad and be brainwashed by this mirror in the wall. See that that laugh, that little chuckle at the end. Okay, he's not that much of a scumbag as I thought. It's kind of like a cheat code. Is he going to be tempted? 
Bro, you're at a crossroads. Heed the words of this sketchy snake. But he's not really that sketchy. He actually helped Bochi for. Okay, good. Oh my goodness. It's gonna walk. Okay, okay, sure. They're gonna force him to drink it. Okay. At the very least, he has a sense of objective justice. This sweet summer child doesn't know anything. He's so naive. He killed him. Well, killed him. He thought he killed him. It's called a cursed gas. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I see. So I'm guessing he's going to learn something from this guy. And they're both cursed for some reason. A giant that has been stripped off his power. He looks like Dracula. Dude, stand back. <laughs> yeah, you stand you don't stand a chance. Dude, you're gonna die. Yep, he's dead. Oh wait, no, not yet. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 Wait, his sword wasn't sharp at all? Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. This is a bit more gruesome. Although I kind of am slightly fascinated by it. Oof. Oof. Wow. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. To go that way. But I thought his sword was not sharp. Maybe it's not a double-edged sword. Maybe only one side is sharp and the other side is kind of like, you know, like a knife. It's not really a sword in that case. It's more like a, more like a machete, a very large machete. When the other side is blunt and the other side is sharp, right? Okay. Uh, that was, wasn't a lot too, it wasn't, too much information but i guess you can say a little bit of Dida was redeemed by not being the total scumbag 
was just in it for the power and everything along with it, you know, he, at the very least, he didn't actually go uh, through with the plan of the mirror. So, as I said, he does have some kind of restraint still holding him back from doing whatever it takes to gain power because he wants to do it. He wants to take it with his own hands through his own effort. So at the very least, that is commendable. It's admirable. He's still a douchebag, but at the very least, he's not that kind of softened a little bit of my views on him. He's not completely, I wouldn't say bad, but he's not completely the antagonist or he's not completely antagonistic in that sense. The mirror is though. We still don't know what the intentions of the mirror are. And I, I don't see a clear ending like i don't know how everything will pan out at the very least we got we got a little bit more information from dracula so we found out that bochi and kage are both cursed and that and that there's this lair underneath the castle where there's um kind of like that place in narnia in the second movie where a lot of the original characters from the first movie turned into oh wait no no that was actually the first movie the first movie was where the the, the ice queen's castle or the 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 ice witch's castle that's where a lot of the uh, characters were frozen and it kind of looked like that. The statues that were in this collection are much more different. They seem more like the mythical creatures. Like there was a sphinx, there was a, a gargoyle, uh, there was something like with a chicken head. And I believe there was that shady green lady. The lady with the green robe on. I think she was probably there. It looked like her hair. So um, I don't know. I guess they used that to train their guards way back back when, when King Boss was still alive. And then much deeper than that, in the basement, you you have kind of place where they do occultic rituals. Um, and they hatched a, a phoenix. Okay, um, this is definitely not how I expected it to go. But, I mean, I didn't expect it to be this entertaining and really more like an adventure type of show, right? Anyway, it's been fun. It's been fun so far. And I'm only on the... Was it the sixth, the fifth episode? Only on the fifth episode, and there's just so many things that are already going on, but they're all a bit mm, jumbled and mm, kind of feel chaotic. Like there's no order to it. Like we're just going for the ride. So yeah, um, that's yeah. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say about the episode. It wasn't really that. I mean, I really like the fact that uh, Bochi and Kage are finally reunited, and just like Bebin is not all that bad and domas even domas despite his betrayal you can probably say he was forced to doing it but despite his betrayal he does still have a conscience i mean he didn't kill hokuro out of um like out of fight or something or just because he doesn't want anybody else to know what he did and even daida who i still retain to be a scumbag piece of trash um but that's also probably because he's acting up He's acting up. He, he's in his uh, puberty stage or something. He's so stressed that he's forced to have his big older brother assassinated. I mean, yeah, puberty can do a lot of, can make you do a lot of things and stress too. And of course, you know, like Queen Hilling is not really all that bad either. Although we didn't see her that much in this episode. So I'm guessing for the next episode, we'll see, we'll get to meet uh, King Dracula. Of the underworld i don't know what his name is but they, he seems to know king boss we'll get to know later on what happens with the mirror on the wall what is it scheming so yeah it's been a, a wild ride in in all summer ranking and there are like 19 more episodes of this can't wait to see what what happens on the the in the last episode i don't know if it's even finished yet hopefully it isn't but it seems kind of like a, a one season thing like a one-off kind of show because they're the pacing just kind of sped up a little bit and a lot of the underlying motives of the characters are are the very least we're getting to know a little bit more about the characters in a more accelerated pace like there's no rest period for this one it's like domas was seemed to be good and then he betrayed bochi killed him because daida instructed him to and then now we see that he actually has a conscience and he probably didn't actually want to kill Bochi, but then we also know that he doesn't want Bochi to be the king because he he's with he has that mentality of like strength is uh, paramount when you're going to be the king. And Daida too, we, well we thought he's just this self-ambitious, uh, selfish, 
overly ambitious scum of the earth who has it out for his older brother but actually he's probably just your ordinary ambitious tyrant he's still a tyrant like th that doesn't change anything he's still he still acts like a tyrant but there's still a lot more a lot more room for him to to grow and to change probably and at the very least he didn't he wasn't so hungry for power that he would lose his sense of justice and morality that he will just take the shortcut he doesn't want to take the shortcut he's probably very egoistic in that sense like i don't want to do the take the the easy round i want to work hard for it it's just i want to be able to do it you know without having any hindrances as well which is who his brother was okay and uh yeah so mo mostly just we just focused on those happenings those characters i'm gonna probably get a little bit more background into who king boss really is and what is the legend behind this giant? It's interesting how, what Dracula said when uh, he was referring to Boji. A giant who has been stripped off his form or something like that. He lost his power as a giant or something. Or something. I don't know. Maybe we can get a little bit more info on that. What happened? Why is he like very tiny and cute? I mean, I love... I love Boji. Like, he's very cute. And when he was younger... He was even cuter because he was chubbier. So yeah, I mean, that's that. And I hope to see you guys again soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know what's gonna, how my schedule is going to crop up in the next weeks, but hopefully I'll be able to release videos more frequently, more regularly now. And if you have any suggestions of things I can react to, things you guys would like me to watch like because right now um i'm mostly just reacting to anime shows that um i haven't watched although i'm watching other anime shows that i'm not going to do reaction videos on these are just the shows that i skipped on like, i skipped a lot of seasons ago if you have any suggestions just comment them down below please like share and subscribe to the channel it will definitely help me out. See you guys again in the next episode or in the next reaction. And I hope you guys have a really nice day.